Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Very good. Today was a very important day. You guys did a great job. That's what I've been telling you, my brothers, don't worry about what's going to happen. Whoever is under the protection of my mantle, whoever is in this large group of warriors of light, has nothing to worry about. You just have to keep your vibrations high. Let's do a little understanding exercise here. Many of you who are here, who follow my words, know me only as, the Archangel Michael, Saint Michael, no matter how you came to me, and many stay here on the channel because they like listening to my words. But there is a large group that is here that does not, does not try to understand everything that is happening in this great ascension process, it's just limited to doing what I ask, the procedures, saying the prayers, participating in the group, and nothing else. They are not very concerned about what is happening around them, especially because they do not understand much of what is being said. I would say to these people, try to open your minds, my brothers. Don't just extract from here, from what is said, what is comfortable for you, what you know, what you have learned to understand. Each one who arrives here on this channel, does not arrive here, let's say, on their own. It is the opportunity that the universe is giving you to evolve, so that you may learn, for you to participate in this great group. Many come here and are afraid. Fear of what they don't understand, because they are so trapped in their limiting beliefs that they don't accept what is said here. They do not accept that a simple human can reproduce our messages. Then they attack, do not understand, and to defend themselves, they attack. I would only say to these, who missed a great opportunity to evolve, to get out of your limiting beliefs, and elevate yourself. So, everyone who comes here has been called in some way. Some accept, and follow, study, and participate, and try to learn every day, in other words, they are evolving quickly. Those I mentioned now come and go, because they don't see themselves ready to break their limiting beliefs. And there is a large majority here who are on the fence. Imagine a big wall, and everyone sitting up there. It's a big wall, you can be sure, and everyone is sitting there. So back to you, who are already ready, elevating yourself, studying, participating, trying to learn, listening to other channels, taking tests, because many only know how to say, ah, I don't go on any channel, because I'm afraid. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Yes, you have to enter, and you have to let yourself learn, let yourself learn, get to know what is being said there, whether it is good or not. How will you learn if you isolate? That's why I didn't tell you where else to go. You have to learn this lesson, realize that it is not good for them. I already told you, you have my cloak, wear my cloak and you can move wherever you want, and you will feel exactly when it is not good but you have to expose yourselves to danger. It's not being scared. Ah, now I only follow this channel, which is this one. I don't follow anyone anymore. No, 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 I don't want that, because many other important messages are being placed on the other channels. I don't want you to isolate yourselves from the rest. So once again I ask, wear my bush and you can travel wherever you want and learn to discern. How are you going to learn if you don't study? Don't do the exercises? So we can see that even in this large group that is evolved, accelerated, we have two groups, those who put their heads up, as you say, and go wherever they have to go, because they trust in my energy, and start to learn how discern what is good and what is not. And there is that other group that follows everything I say, believes everything I say, but is scared to death of something. So let's get this over with. You have to discern what is good and what is bad. It is not by isolating yourself that you will learn. You have my mantle. Then they have nothing to fear, there is nothing to fear. So this is a group. Now let's talk about those who are on the fence. All with little legs dangling from the top of the wall. Yes. It looks like a bunch of little kids sitting up there swinging their little legs on the wall, scared to death, not knowing which way they're going. What do they think? 
Some think like this, I believe everything the Archangel says, he's right, everything will change, but why don't I see anything? Why doesn't anything happen? Why don't things change? They just get worse every day. Seeing is believing is famous. And there's that other part of the wall that, ah, uh, yes, I listen to what he says, but a lot of things I don't believe. I think a lot of things are inventions, that we are here we are going to die here as it is, but I like to hear it, I like listening to what he says. So, my brothers, the wall is full, and there are walls everywhere. There are many walls and everyone is sitting and shaking their little legs. I only have one thing to say to you, my brothers, whoever is on the fence shaking their little leg is not part of my group. Because even those who are afraid of exposing themselves, but who are there walking, these, even these, are part of it, because they resonate with my energy and understand everything I say, and they trust what I say. Now those of you who are on the fence, literally, you are on the fence. So you are not part of my group of warriors of light. To be part of this group, you have to put your feet on the ground, you have to choose a side, you have to choose the side of freeing yourself from all dogmas and limiting beliefs, which you were practically forced to follow, and open your minds. Many still doubt when I say that we have light beings from other planets around this planet. They think I'm crazy, I'm saying this just to scare them because when they think of extraterrestrial beings, they are monsters, who come here to kill them. So, when I say this, it is to scare, it is to create panic in you. So I really don't know what they're doing there, because they shouldn't even be on the wall, they shouldn't even be listening to the channel, but they keep listening. It's like this, ah, let's see what the next nonsense he's going to say today. What's the next invention he's going to say today? So, with these last classes I've been taking, many are literally lost, because they created in their minds, that evil figure that you all know, in another way, they gave her strength, they thought she was indestructible. And I have already explained that no one is indestructible. Our father or mother God just needs to give a small order, and the divine spark of that creature, which today really has enormous power, will immediately extinguish. But as everything is a great balance, everything goes the way it is, without any danger to our father or mother God. The danger is for you, who allow yourself to be deceived by these little stories. They gave evil a power it doesn't have. He is not indestructible nor does he have the same power as our father or mother God. So many are surprised, because they are beginning to realize that they have been deceived for a long time, but they cannot give up the things they have learned. Then they are left with who to trust, I trust what the Archangel or rather, I confirm that this voice is speaking or I trust what I was taught since I was little, that my whole family has always learned like this, that at all times it has always been like this. So it is. So my brothers, today this video is specifically for you, who are on the fence. Staying on the fence is a very comfortable position, very comfortable, because you think this way, well. I'm here on the fence. If I see that what this voice is saying is right, I jump there quickly and then I'm on his side, and if I see that it isn't, it'll go back to where I was, quickly. So, I'm going to give you bad news, if at the right moment, at the right time, you think that all you have to do is jump over here and you will be saved, I'm going to give you bad news, nothing will happen to you, because this is called cleverness. This is called going to the side of those who give you more, it's not going from the heart, it's going out of interest, go to save your skin. Nothing will happen to you. It is preferable for you to stay on that side, because that is where you are resonating. So I have a very important message for everyone here on the fence. Those who are on the fence are not resonating with anything I say, because if they were, they would already be on this side, up front where everyone is. You continue to resonate with the side there. I just have to tell you the following, my brothers, time is passing. Don't think that things are standing still because they aren't. Everything is moving forward, and it's not enough to jump to one side to be absorbed by the group. If that were the case, it would be very easy. 
so everyone who is here had a whole trail to follow, went through a lot of transformations, for what? So now someone comes running at the last minute and comes in and stays in the same place they are? No, my brothers, it can't be like that, you have some tests, some tests to do, before joining this group. So, this is what I say to you, time is passing. There may not be any more time tomorrow. So I advise anyone who is on the fence to take sides. Or come down here and start walking the path, even as an experiment, to see where it leads. Listen to the reports of those who are here in the group, how this group is evolving, and start making your journey over here. There is still time, but start now, don't leave it for later, as later may be too late. Because it's not about having the smarts to fall to the right side at the right time, because it won't help. Then they climb down from the wall, one way or the other. Wake up. Take a stand in your lives. What do you want? Do you want to risk everything for something new, or do you want to stay where you are? It's your decision, not mine. But get off the wall. The moment approaches. And I've been saying this for a long time now. It may be that the day you decide to go down here, it will be too late and then you will have lost the opportunity to evolve, because you will take that tram, you will lose your train ticket, or rather, you will not have a ticket on the train. You will take the tram like everyone else, and go somewhere else, you will not remain here on the planet. So if you love this planet, if you love your home, because this is your home, wake up. Move over here. Start walking the path. If halfway through, you think. Oh, it wasn't worth it. I'm going back, just jump to the other side, no one will arrest them here, but at least you had a choice, at least you tried. Tomorrow you might regret not trying. You tried it and didn't like it. Excellent. Jump to the other side and move on with your life, take the tram and leave. But at least, my brothers, I would say to you, come this way, start walking the path. Do not exempt yourself from this chance to evolve your souls. Don't miss this chance. Right now she is the only one. There is no middle ground. The planet will not be divided into two, one part of the population in Tercera, one part in Quinta, that will not exist. Either you are all in Tercera or you are all in Quinta, and as there will be the ascension, there will be no one left in Tercera. So whoever sounds Tercera, whoever is on the other side, will take the tram. There's no way. I'm warning my brothers. Make the choice while there is still time. Walking is not easy. The journey is difficult, because you have to get rid of everything that is there, keeping you on the fence, and this is not easy, it's difficult to break all these concepts, these beliefs that you've always been accustomed to. So start. Start opening your minds and your hearts. There is still time. But there may be no more time tomorrow, because everything is moving quickly. More and more you enter the photon belt, and everything is getting faster. The summit is getting closer and closer. So my brothers, the wall is not a wall. The wall is already a decision. Stay where you are, because jumping to the side at the right moment won't do you any good. Think about it. But think hard. I thought a lot about what I just said. Give yourself a chance. At least start. Get started. Start opening your minds, to realize that there may be a grain of truth in everything I say. Let this voice, it could even be mine, start thinking about it. Get these limiting beliefs out of your minds. Study. Try to find out. Think hard, my brothers, and get off the wall because staying there won't do any good. Take a stand staying there won't bring you anything good. Just be sure that you will go on the tram. Well, before we close, here's our prayer for the week, my Archangel Michael. May you allow all limiting beliefs, all dogmas, all teachings that I have in my chest and in my mind to be confronted with the truth, and may I have the ability, the discernment, the light, to see exactly where the truth lies. May all doubts, all questions, be completely swept away from my mind. 
I am Archangel Michael. And even for those who think that everything that is said here is not me saying it, no problem, I will continue saying, I am Archangel Michael.